हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड आर रेडी फॉर आर सेकेंड सेशन इन दिस अजाइल एंड स्क्रम सीरीज इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाटरफॉल मैथडोलॉजी एंड रिव्यू द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन अजाइल एंड वाटरफॉल स्टार्टिंग विद वॉट इज वाटरफॉल मैथडोलॉजी इट इज़ अ लीनियर एंड सिक्वेंशियल मॉडल फॉर प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इट कंसिस ऑफ फिक्सड फेजेज सच एज requirement design development testing and deployment these phases and order of execution of these phases is fixed it starts with strict planning and thereby step by step execution of these phases in sequential order each step or a phase needs to be completed before moving to the next step it works on big bang release one big release for all the requirements given by the customers during the requirement phase here teams work in silos customer interaction is limited and feedback from the customer comes late in the product life cycle let us now understand the execution flow diagram for each of them starting with waterfall the execution flow diagram shows that it starts with detailed and extensive requirement gathering phase Once the requirement phase is complete the design team starts working on those requirements the next phase after design is development where the development team works toward building a new product once the development is complete testing phase gets triggered and after testing the code thoroughly it is deployed for the end customer usage in the last after deployment the project enters into maintenance phase any change request that comes after deployment will go through the same process starting with the requirement gathering phase moving on to agile methodology it believes in small incremental releases so as to get early validation of the product and adapt the next steps accordingly it starts with minimum planning and evolves the plan based on the feedback received here teams work in collaboration and are self managed the execution flow diagram is same as what we discussed in our last session it starts with picking the top priority requirement which are the high value requirements the development team develops a plan and works together in designing and building the solution for the end customers the team then tests the increment after which the product is deployed for the end user consumption customer review is done and feedbacks are gathered and are incorporated in the requirement backlog basis the feedbacks and the requirements priority our next set of requirements are picked and these are executed in iterative loop creating incremental product versions now as we have better understanding of both agile and waterfall let's quickly cover the differences between them waterfall is linear and sequential model with one big bang release at the end whereas agile believes in continuous delivery through iterative and incremental releases in waterfall extensive planning is done at the start of the project itself and the plan and the scope remains fixed throughout in agile minimal plan is prepared at the start of the project and this plan evolves as more clarity comes in the form of feedback received in waterfall customer interaction and review is limited and comes late in the product life cycle whereas in agile customer review is done throughout the product life cycle in waterfall comprehensive documentation is done to finalize the scope and the requirements whereas in agile documentation is light as it is based on experimentation and empiricism waterfall is best for the projects with well defined requirements and where end state of the requirement is known whereas agile is best for the projects with evolving requirements now let us understand both waterfall and agile methodologies with examples so let us go through a sample problem statement for waterfall methodology here a customer needs a product that can connect two people is wireless portable has touch screen has access to internet and is capable of running apps the customer needs a product that is similar to a mini computer and has computing 
capabilities. Now let us go through a problem statement for agile methodology. Here, customer needs a product that can connect two people and can reduce the long distance communication to seconds. We can see that in case of waterfall methodology, the requirements, features are clear, detailed, well defined and are fixed in scope. Whereas in case of agile methodology, the requirements are not certain, detailed and are complex as end state of the product is not known. In waterfall, as we know that the scope and the requirements are finalized, fixed and are certain. Hence, a detailed BRD, which is the business requirement documentation, is prepared at the beginning and is shared to the developers to initiate design and development of the product. During the development and the testing stages, the customer interaction and review is not done and the product remains a black box for the end user. The customer gets to see the final working product which is in our case a smartphone after a significant wait time. The customer feedback is done in the end when the working product is delivered to the customer for usage. The feedback loop is missing here and the trust is more on the comprehensive requirement documentation. In Agile, the product is built on running experiments to validate small small hypotheses and the product evolves by learning from the past and the customer feedback received. At the end of each iteration, a working incremental version of the product is delivered for the customer usage and feedback. As the product develops iteration by iteration, more clarity about the product is gained along with the user feedbacks. In our example, at the end of each iteration, a working phone with incremental features is delivered for the customer to review. Basis the customer feedback and the past learnings, an incremental version of the product is released. In the iteration 1, the output is rotary dial phone. With this phone, people could connect but it is a wired phone with a clumsy dialing experience. In iteration 2, the touchstone phone was developed and delivered which improved the dialing experience but portability was a constraint. In iteration 3, a cordless phone was made available for the customer usage. It introduced portability but with limited range. In iteration 4, mobile phone is introduced for the customer's usage. It made the phone completely portable and with no range limit. In iteration 5, the smartphone is developed and delivered. This phone can access internet, has a touch screen, has inbuilt processors which makes it a mini computer. Hence waterfall is good for the projects with well defined and certain requirements whereas agile is best for the projects which are not certain and requirements evolve after each iteration. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications.